that is a lot of pants. What up, YouTube? Welcome to Sergeant Webby in the video. We had to go with the old intro because you guys already know we are doing a long requested video, one that I have put off, put off, put off, and probably put off several more times. You guys can already tell by the title and thumbnail, so I will not keep dragging it out, but we are finally doing the pant collection video. A couple months ago I did a video where I discussed how I sold half of my vintage t-shirts and I made $30,000 in one stream on whatnot. Well, I have another personal collection live sale coming up on December 7th, so I felt like it was only right that I do a personal collection video. But I've done t-shirt collection videos, I've done sneaker collection videos, and although both of those need an update, the one collection video that I have never done, I literally have devoted my pantry in my apartment to pants. It's the pantry. And although most of the pieces that I sell in this personal collection live sale on whatnot will be shirts, like for example, this beautifully faded candle box that I said I was going to run in the last personal collection video, but at last minute I decided to pull out because it's oh so beautiful and I was not ready to part ways with it yet. Or this sound garden, or this sound garden, or this Nirvana, and much, much more. I will also be selling some of the pants. I may sell some pairs over the next couple months on whatnot, just randomly included in some of these Thursday live streams that I do every single week. So make sure you follow me on whatnot, Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. Bookmark the personal collection live sale. We currently have like over 1,400 bookmarks. If for whatever got off a reason you do not have whatnot downloaded, click that top link in the description and you will get $15 off your first purchase. But anyways, let's get to this video because I have a lot of pants to show you guys and we might as well start with the beautiful pair that you have seen me wearing in the beginning of this video. These things are so freaking comfortable. They're made of like a linen, but it also kind of feels like a sweatpants since it has an elastic waist and these extremely long drawstrings. Another pair of pants that I've been wearing recently are these Stussy quilted pants. This one's kind of cool because it's a normal denim and then it just has a stitch going throughout the entire pant. I recently wore these to Las Vegas Thrift Con. If you guys did not watch that video, of course, make sure you go watch that. And I actually forgot, but I also ordered it in this. Yes, when I like a pair of pants, I literally will order the exact same pair in multiple colors. Now, another pair that I forgot about, well, I didn't really forget. I actually just didn't know where I put them. I misplaced them because I set them aside for this video, which like I said, I have put off and put off and put off some more. But the Louis Vuitton Nego pants, these things are insane. Tried them on, of course, just like the Stussy pants, they do fit a little bit baggy. So far, all the pants I have showed you will not be for sale, I apologize. But I'm telling you, definitely follow me on whatnot, thrift row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W, I will be selling some pretty dope pairs. And I'll even show you guys some of the pairs that I plan on selling later in the video. But for now, just let me cook, okay? We have a plethora of pairs and I just wanna showcase some of these pants. I have so many pairs, I don't even get to wear all of them and I'm actually kind of excited to sell some because I feel like once I have less clutter, I will actually get more wear out of the pairs that I love that fit me oh so good. Now, this is a pair that I have worn quite a bit. These are the Rolling Stone Mastermind Japan denim pants. You have the Mastermind Rolling Stones logo embroidered right there. The Rolling Stones little leather pants Patch. Ooh, this is another pair that I have worn a lot. The Alexander McQueen. You see how the pocket is kind of cut? It's kind of like patchwork-esque. You even have like another little panel right here that goes inside the pocket. I was doing a sponsorship with ASICS. They flew me out to Toronto, which was already an insane experience. Like I always say, thank you guys for supporting me on YouTube. For everyone who subscribes, who likes, who comments. Those are the types of opportunities that I talk about getting that I am so thankful for that I would never have had if it wasn't for you guys supporting me. While I was out there doing this little photo shoot, the stylist had like a wardrobe of stuff. I saw these pants, I tried them on, they fit so freaking good that I asked her if I could actually just buy these. This right here may be my second most worn pair of denim. You guys have probably seen this. I probably get more compliments about this pair of pants. You have the detached pocket right here. You also have this wallet chain, but instead of a chain, it is actually like a piece of denim. The thing that I like about Margiela compared to other designer pants, in my experience, they are overall more comfortable. A lot of designer pants really aren't meant for comfort. For example, a more recent pickup, the Marnie denim pants. You have these pieces of mohair cardigan sewn in, which is a super cool look. And also they fit really like 
wide and baggy. And although these things look amazing, they are not comfortable at all. Obviously you guys know me for thrifting, so let's discuss some uh, vintage pants. It's not all high-end designer and streetwear, okay? I always say this, I like everything. These things are insane. These are machine denim pants. I got these while I was thrifting state to state. I would say it kind of has a similar fit to the Marnies, except these are actually comfortable to wear. Here's a pair of Carhartt pants that I've had for quite some time. These ones are a little bit more unique than your standard Carhartt double knees, because if you look, the double knee actually goes all the way up to the pocket. So it's not like a traditional pair of double knee. The only other pair of like vintage Carhartts that I have is just the essential olive colorway. We have some orange tab Levi's. There are some slight stains right here that I may try to get out. This is kind of a lighter khaki wash. Those are 550s and here is another pair of 550s. It says 34 inch waist, but I just really liked the fit of these. These are like 90s USA made on the paper tag. Not quite olive. Some lighting it looks more like a brownish color. Wow, I haven't worn these in so long. I just really liked the different patches on it. I haven't worn these in quite some time. I may actually end up selling these ones because I don't know, I feel like I have other versions of this pant that I wear more. I like a lot of the Carhartt and Levi collaborations. One of the most iconic Carhartt collaborations is of course, I believe 2006, Bape Carhartt. Collab. Here you have a pair of Bape Carhartt work pants. You have the little Bape patch right there, the Carhartt patch right there. It is in the yellow olive color. This pant came in yellow, green, and purple. These are not for sale, especially since I have the matching Carhartt Bape jacket. And then we will go over one of my personal favorite Levi's collaborations, which is of course the recent collaboration between Levi's and Born and Raised. If you guys are not familiar with Born and Raised, then you guys may be new to the channel. I have talked about Born and Raised for years. If you look, it has this little like turquoise embellishment. And speaking of Born and Raised collaborations, we have yet another collaboration. I have not got to wear these yet. I've been meaning to fade these out. The Born and Raised Awake New York Carhartt collaboration. We have the Bodhi Tobacco something pant. Once again, I have not worn these, but I originally got these because I was like, these are gonna be perfect if I ever take like a trip to Cuba. This I actually bought from the homie Kais. You have the snake pattern. This was extremely popular in like the hype beast era on the internet. If I remember correctly, these were only released in Europe and Australia. So they're a lot more rare, a little hard to find. These I have worn like once or twice. It's made of like a rayon material. So they're super lightweight and they are super comfortable. The Capital Virgin Mary pants. These things are insane. Shout out my boy Sanji who put me on to Isimiyaki, the pleated pantalones. I don't think I ever got to wear these. I think I tried these on. These are some USA made polo chinos. You also have this like fade. I think this is because I used to have this hung up in the window. Ooh, another mastermind collaboration. One common theme about all my social media for quite some time is I love the outdoors. I love hiking and I always get tagged in posts where brands collaborate with hiking brands or they make hiking gear. That was probably what got the most love on my Instagram back in the day. These are super cool because Gramichi makes amazing pants. It's a cool little climbing brand and this is a collaboration between Gramichi and Mastermind Japan. You also have the Master mind hits. I also got two pairs of Star Island pants. Another Carhartt collaboration. This is a collaboration with Heron Preston. You have the little bedazzled uh, Heron Preston Russian thing. These actually fit really, really dope, but I still may end up selling these size 32. It's kind of hard because any time that I would wear those, I would probably just wear these now. These Stussy big ol' over dyed denim pants. This is Supreme Comme des Garçons graffiti throughout. This was released a while ago. Actually, I think I was in London waiting in line for these to release. The white pair, I don't know if I've ever gotten a picture in the white pair, but I did get a pic in the blue pair on Instagram. I believe with my homie Keon, free my guy. Here's a pair of 424 all over paisley print pants that I don't think I've got to wear, but they're super cool. I believe this released like two or three years ago. These aren't super old, but you have these like native totem pole animals printed throughout. These are amazing. I recently picked these up actually when I was in Vancouver. This pair of pants, I kind of wish I would have got multiple pairs because these stack so freaking nice. They're like a perfect weight and these were unreleased because obviously Gap discontinued their collaboration with 
Kanye. I have got to wear these a couple times, the Awake Over Dyed Pant. Ooh, I got this pair to actually hike in. I thought these would be super nice. I don't even know if I've tried these ones on. Kind of similar to the Grimici style pant. You have this belted elastic waist. Work blue, no crazy branding, but of course you do have the Supreme Old English logo right there. I believe these are either 80s or 90s. Stussy, based off the tag, 90s, USA made, corduroys. They are cut on the bottom, so they fit kind of like capris. Very similar to the uh, style of pant that I was rocking when I was going state to state. Maybe I'll find the black pair as I go deeper down the uh, collection of pants. But this was another pair that I was rocking, these like patchwork corduroys. I just got them in the bins for a dollar. Some other streetwear pieces that I love, we got these Stussy pants right here. This is all embroidered. I believe this was a collaboration between Stussy and some other brand. I cannot recall the name off the top of my head. The Supreme Hysteric Glamour. I have this in both colorways, so I do not need <coughs> both pairs. And as you can probably tell by my sneeze, there's some dust rising from that segment of the pantry because I never <coughs> wear them. Here's a little bit more of a low-key streetwear brand. We got the Menace denim pants. Very similar wash to like the Margellas. Another pair that I've gotten a good amount of wear out of is these Cool pants. Cool is another hiking brand. If you see it in the thrifts, I would recommend grabbing it if it fits. Some of it does even resell. These are amazing. Look at the wash on these. It's almost like a garment dyed canvas pant. Let's get back to some designer pants. Some crazy shit. We have some more Margellas. We got some Undercover. We got some Christian Dior, Denim Flow, Acne Studios. Oh man, I have not worn this pair in a while. I am gonna bust these back out because these bitches fit amazing. These are so nice, especially with like the little contrast stitching right there, raw edge right there, raw edge near the cuff. Most of these Margellas, I don't really get a whole lot of wear out of. I just love the wash on these. I don't know why I don't wear these ones that much. I know I did wear these for quite some time. I love a lot of the stuff that Margella does. I feel like you see a lot of pieces that are kind of taken apart and then put back together and just like very raw DIY looking, kind of similar to these right here. You have two different colors of denim and you have the original wash of the denim still written on each pant leg. You also have the actual belt loop removed. Because of that, the belt loop is thinner. But because I love this pant style so much, I also got it in the black and gray. These next ones will probably all get sold because I never get to wear these. You have the Christian Dior's. These were hemmed. Oh man, before I actually looked at these, I was set on selling them because they fit me way too skinny. I look like the lead singer of some band performing at Warped Tour. I will buy! I got a little bit of meat on my thighs, okay? Like if I was skinnier, maybe I would like these a little bit more. These things are so freaking sick. The undercover denim pants with all these patches. I've thought about trying to like cut these and then insert a piece of fabric to make them baggier. These things are just so freaking sick. Even down to the way they did the pockets. Pocket is like on the seam. Here's an older pair of undercover. These things are crazy. These are the types of pants that when people see my collection, I feel like they don't really expect me to have. These are from the year 2000, the undercover bondage pants. You have all these like zippers and just different things throughout, these metal rings. So yeah, these ones may get sold. It'd be kind of sad to see these go because these are definitely like a collector's item. Now since I'm showing off an older pair of undercover, maybe I'll show off some older Supreme pieces. We have these floral pants. These are not nearly as old. I believe these are from 20... 14. Another good era of Supreme. I don't remember exactly what year these came out. I know it was around that same time, but yeah, super sick. Took me forever to find a real pair of these. Once again, I just sadly never get to wear these. I've already shown off over 50 pairs. Okay, we have these neighborhood military pants, all embroidered trousers, cold weather man's NBHD neighborhood Tokyo, Japan neighborhood. Paraya Farzane. I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I love these like hippie paisley pants. This is the type of pants you wear if you're trying to bag the Zodiac shorty. The astrology girl. Sticking with that same thing, we have the Stussy Tapestry. Uh, I can't believe I'm blanking on this type of pant. I have multiple style of this same pant. I wish I had these in a 32. If you have these in a bigger size, please hit me up. Patchwork Corduroy Noah pants. These things are so freaking beautiful. Also, these right here will get sold. The Cherub Supreme Denim Pants. If you have these, in a size 32 in blue. Please hit me up. I need a pair of 32s. Oh man, I really ugh, messed that up, I'm sorry. 
Hopefully she survives the uh, air assault. This pair of blazer paisley pant from Menace is one of my favorite pairs of jeans. These I've never got to wear, but I believe I have these in both colors. I don't know where the black pair is. This design is a very popular design that was used on an older pair of Hysteric Glamour denim. Supreme wool trousers in pink and brown. Prada chinos. One of my favorite pair of Noah chinos. Another pair of Noah chinos. Fun fact, I almost never wear chinos. Oh wow, I forgot about these two. A cold wall striped pant. These are really nice. I forget. I think this is from a brand Billy. Getting into some more high-end designer. We have some older Raph Simmons slacks from 2007. Ooh, I haven't worn these in forever either. The Alix nylon pant. Valentino striped cargos. Fendi striped slacks. This is like a velour stripe. Fendi monogram in white. Another Fendi monogram pant. That same Fendi monogram except with an elastic waist, which means these ones get worn more. And then sticking with the elastic waist, we have the Gucci Pant. I actually made a video when I bought these. Then I sold those and then I missed them so much that I got another pair. Then we have the purple Louis Vuitton monogram denim. These things fit way too slim. I'm actually kind of sad about it. I also got these, which are also some beautiful, delicious Louis Vuitton monogram pants. And just like those purple ones, they fit way too skinny. If they fit more like these pants I'm about to show you guys, I would not mind at all. These AMIs, these things are amazing. Perfect, nice fade, straight leg, not too baggy. This right here is a type of pant or pants that you can basically wear forever. These I think fit a little bit baggier, but I love the feeling of these. These are actually some diesel denim pants. Uh, I don't know what happened here, but there are just stains on my diesel pants. Then we got the misbehave with the all over old English M embroidered throughout. If you guys know, I love old English. Speaking of old English, let's talk about sweatpants. Well, one of my most worn pairs of sweatpants, I've been wearing these for years, is of course the born and raised sweatpants. You have born and raised embroidered down the leg. I have them in tonal blue, tonal black, tonal burgundy. These are not the tonal ones. These are actually the Mr. Cartoon collaboration. I just cannot find my tonal burgundy ones. Born and raised 424 collaboration and in black. Also, these are amazing around the house. The Snooty Fox born and raised. Best comparison I can give you is the polo all over print pony pant. Then I started wearing these Awake New York sweatpants. They're like these sun bleached sweats that just look so freaking good. I got them in teal, black, burgundy. Speaking of burgundy, I also found the born and raised tonal sweatpants. And I like those, but they are still cuffed. And then I started rocking the strawberry sweats, which is what I've been rocking lately around the house because they're just really good lounge pants. I have these in multiple colors. I cannot find my blue ones or my green ones. Here you have them in this like mauve color. I don't even know what color this is. Here are these sun faded black ones. I wear these things all the time. And then while I was traveling, I went to Kith in Miami and I saw they had one that actually had a similar fit and overall fade. Kith does make some really good sweatpants. In fact, here's a pair that I got a while ago. This is a collaboration between Kith and Mastermind. You also don't need the crazy expensive ones. You can get a cheap pair of sweatpants even in the thrifts. Like I got these in the bins, the little white tag Nike sweatpants, and I actually have gotten a lot of wear out of these as well. I wear sweats like almost every single day, which is another reason why I need to sell a lot of this stuff because I just really don't get a lot of wear out of it. I just get a Look at it. Look at that. That's nice and shiny. Speaking of looking at it, I found the green ones. I never opened up these ones just because I wanted to save them for the video, but hey, here they are. So they have like this little sew line down the middle. They fit amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. We also got the Ramel Z Supreme sweatpants. You got this graffiti throughout. I might end up selling these just because I never get to wear them. I might have sold these actually in the last personal live, but I used to have the Patchwork Supreme tie-dye pants. Ben Davis Huckleberry Supreme Ben Davis collaboration. And then we have, of course, one of my all-time favorite shoe wear brands, FTP, with the FTP logo throughout. I also have those in black. The Stussy Double Knees. You have this like dye all throughout as well. These might get sold because I do not need 100 pairs of double knees. I do not spend that much time on my knees. One of my favorite pairs of 424s, you have that bandana sewn in the back pocket. You also have this bandana sewn in down here. I don't remember how these ones fit either. These Reese Cooper corduroy cargos, these things are insane. I think I've worn these once. I like Reese Cooper as a brand and a lot of stuff that they do. Reese Cooper makes outerwear stuff, but it's like higher end and it's very like, uh, what's the term? Gorp core. I don't know why that's like a style or thing, but I do have a lot of other pairs of pants that are Great for hiking. The classic Carhartt. I've worn these quite a bit. I do have a little 
pull right here. That way you can see when I'm cheeked up. Another pair of like earth tone Gramichi pants. Another pair of Gramichi pants and a darker earth tone. I believe both of these were thrifted. These are the pants I used to wear all the time when I would go hiking because they are really nice. The Adidas White Mountaineering Collaboration. And I also have them in green. The Nike ACG pants. Nike ACG is a great brand, good quality stuff. I have this pair and then I have this pair in this like mustard colorway with this zipper pocket on the side. I don't even remember these. Uh, Subi pants? Oh, I do remember these actually. Some Subi cargos. Dude, every time I grab pants from the closet, there's like so much dust back there because I just never go through those. <laughs> I gotta take a quick segment to show love to some of the YouTube of Pantalone. So of course we got the Haven Quartz. My man Keezy. It ain't easy being Keezy. He's been killing it lately. Amazing quality stuff. Also of course shout out my boy Sanjeev, one of the YouTube OGs. Me and him started making videos around the same time and I love a lot of the stuff that he does with his brand. You have these cargos which are super heavy. Also great for out here in Washington because it does get a little bit cold in the winter time. The pants that I get the most wear out of from Sanjeev are these. They're a little bit more light. They have some Russian spelling along the cross region and then all this embroidery throughout i guess the embroidery is inspired from like russian prison tattoos you also have this like khaki pair and it's kind of dyed it's almost like inverted shit like if you were to shit your pants the bottom half would be this color it's like if you shit your pants doing a handstand love these pants another great brand is ori nyc i have these in olive too these are super nice you have this like double pocket with all these metal embellishments and it's made of this material that is so comfortable i don't know it's really hard to explain i don't have any other pants like it super unique oh my allergies back when these released bro this is like one of my favorite favorite YouTuber pants or YouTuber creations from the homie Magnus Ronning. I love Paisley, I love Old English. Always have, still do. I know I have a lot more pairs because I haven't really shown off that many Supreme pairs of pants and I have a lot of Supreme pants. I just don't wear a lot of Supreme pants so they're not usually in the pantry. I like a lot of pants that Supreme makes but usually the cool stuff they make just doesn't fit right. Like for example, I bought these because the artwork is insane. The stitching throughout is nuts. I'm pretty sure this girl is pleasuring herself with bamboo. The bamboo dildo is next level. Brain did Carhartt. I wish they did not do these in overalls because I never get to wear them. These are the Supreme Retirement Homes. In like 60, 70 years when I'm on my deathbed about to die, I'm going to be the freshest dude shitting his pants in the retirement home. I also have an old pair of 10 Deep. 10 Deep, that is a distant memory. Rest in peace, 10 Deep. I love stuff like this. These like 10 Deep patchwork camo pants. Desert camo as well. And then no camo. And if you were around in that era, you may may remember the golden denim jogger era, but man, this floral patteration right here, these were like my favorite pants back in the day. They were originally joggers, but I made them not joggers. If you're watching this and you remember this era, you are truly like an OG supporter of the channel. Cause like, did, <laughs> bro, I literally bought these, I think over 10 years ago. Into the deep cuts, boys. Bronze 56K all over print, not all over print, sorry, all over embroidery. You can see the bronze window logo a little bit better with the yellow pair. The nice clean essential 424 with the little red 424 right there. That is the only thing these pants have. I may sell them because yeah, now I'm starting to realize I really need to get rid of some pants. Oh yeah, these brain dead hammer pants. I'm gonna get hemorrhoids. Those are all gonna be for sale. Most of these might be for sale too. I used to wear these a lot. These are super comfortable. And I'm gonna try these on before I make any promises because these things I used to wear quite a bit. But I will definitely be selling some of these pants. So make sure you go to whatnot. Follow me, thriftro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. Bookmark the personal live. I will not be selling all of these, but I will be selling some of them in that live stream. There will be some Supreme pants starting at a dollar. If you know this pattern, this was something that Supreme referenced an old vintage L.L. Bean pattern, an old Supreme Levi's collaboration, the pinstripe, the RTAs, it says organ donor embroidered right there. I believe these fit me too slim, so these will probably get sold. All over print FTP track pants. I have these in black. I think I have them in yellow and of course green. The Stray Rats stacked sweatpant. This will be for sale probably in that personal live. Ooh, the Palace Adidas like Gore-Tex material. These things are so sick. Some personal car hearts. I'll probably end up selling these as well. Super nice wash. The Menace Corduroys. The Levi's Hair and Preston. Those will probably be for sale. Oh man, the FTP 10 year anniversary pant. Oh wow, wow again, wow again. Oh, oh my.
my god! The palace patchwork pant. I already have several patchwork pants, so that might get sold. The freaking Stussy Levi's collaboration. These sadly fit me too small because I could not get a 32. The Dries Van Natten. I need to try these on before I make any promises, but I used to love these freaking pants. This pair of Margiela's will probably get sold in that live just because these ones don't fit me. If I remember correctly, of course, I will put a video of me actually trying them on, and if I'm wrong, they will probably not get sold. Whew, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stuff for sale. I'm telling you guys, definitely check out that show. Even if you guys don't want the pants, because a lot of you guys may not be the same pant size as me, I will be selling a lot of grails. Let me just turn this camera around real quick, okay? A lot of old, like, Stussy. I'm thinking about selling this one right here. The window shopping is great in New York City. So many good pieces that will be for sale. These are some I already photographed, like the Sound Garden. Ooh, the Killer Instinct Fulgore. Stop playing. I'm telling you guys, follow me on whatnot. There are some bangers. AOP, Grateful Dead, Metallica Load. After sorting through the pants that I showed in this video, I went through 140 pairs, and that's still not everything. For example, here's three more. Can't do the video without including some of the jabos. We got the all yellow on yellow tonal jabos, or we have the denim blue with the royal blue jabo straps. Absolute classic vintage pantalones. Please tell your mother to stop texting me when I'm recording. Here's a Supreme Levi's collaboration that I will probably not sell right now. They look pretty plain, but these are actually made of this like moleskin material, so they're super soft. This also does not include some of the recent pairs that I purchased from Supreme, like the studded double knee Supreme pants that dropped recently, the HR Geiger double knees, which I wish were not double knees, some Stussy pants that I've purchased. I'm always buying. I'm in a constant state of buying and selling. However, with the pants, I normally ignore the second half of that equation. Also, this does not include the shorts. Which I don't really have that many shorts, but I don't really feel like going over those right now. Maybe in a future video, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you have not already. If you have made it this far, you are an absolute legend. Please comment the bamboo dildo. I appreciate every single person who commented in the last video. I will be selling some of these over the next couple months on whatnot. And I'm also hoping to have some ready to sell in my personal live stream, which will predominantly be some t-shirts. I have a lot of shirts and I need to make some space. Once again, you guys see I'm always buying. Also, I recently spent a good amount of money for 250 shirts, which I may or may not make a video about. And at the same time, I also bought two bales. Basically, I paid a little under $4,000 for 200 pounds of clothes that I will not see until it gets here tomorrow. And I still gotta get ready to fly to ThriftCon Charlotte, so thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I cannot say thank you enough, but I will say thank you one more time. Thank you. I have been asked about this video so many freaking times, but it's finally here, okay? I will do an update, hopefully, in the near future. Thank you guys so much. I just said thank you. I don't know why I'm saying thank you again. I guess I'm just feeling extra thankful today. Anyways, as always, keep living the star life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Listen close.